Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen to all my fight fans. You know, I'm just posting this now. You know. Good fight. You know, it's... You know, I'm looking at me. I'm looking juicy on this damn video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was a good fight, man. Bringing down Lomachenko. It was it was, just, it was interesting in the sense that I know what the fuck happened. You know that that, that no no fighter really just puts down gloves. They gonna try to. Mimic this thing and say that he just didn't want no moss. He did try pulling no moss. When no moss happened in history, you know what I'm saying? That becomes the excuse for a person to pull a no moss. No moss, no more, no more. But when I was watching the fight, I was sitting there watching it live, you know what I'm saying? I was laid back and I was like, I, the seventh round, when, before the seventh round opened, I was like, God, I said, what? He ain't coming out for what? I can tell you how he lost this fight. He lost that fight without using his jab, yo. I don't know where, you know, every fight comes down to fundamentals, yo. Everyone. No, no matter what, no matter what, you got to learn how to move a certain way. You got to learn how to step. And then he just wasn't doing it. He's doing it for not no reason. You know what I'm saying? Man, it is terrible, man, when I think about it. But my own personal opinion that is that ringing down through the fight. He threw it. He threw it. He, you know, this is the worst throwing fights. And look, I'm going to give you my whole opinion. You know what I'm saying? This is the worst fight thrown fight that I've ever watched fought. Fought. And it was thrown in a thrown fight. It was thrown. It was thrown in a fight fight with a thrown fight. Ain't nobody doing that no more, man. Bob Arrow need to go ahead and you figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You figure it out. You know what I'm saying? The boy got paid off. You know what I'm saying? I watched the fight and I was just looking and I was like, Motherfucker was just standing there for no reason. It won. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, hey, he just couldn't handle Lomachenko. I don't believe that at all. I watched his fights. He just didn't snap that jab. That's all. He did it on purpose, too. I'm telling you. Snap that jab. And, uh, things work out for you better when you're in that ring, man. So, I, I know. I know. We got a whole bunch of conspiracy theorists that people, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of them, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a whole bunch of things that's going to happen, you know what I mean? So, what's going to happen with Lomachenko after this? You know? My only thing is really, seriously, he got to move up. He ain't going to move up. And, Lom and uh, Rick and Dow is going back down to 122. I'm going to let him have that. I'm going to let him have his reward. He's going to get a payday. That was the deal that was struck. You know. So what's going to happen is... is um, Right now, going to move back down, and he going to dominate that thing. He going to get his payday, and you know what I'm saying? And Lomachenko, he can't have shit. I, I don't think he want to fight Robert Easter. 
Yeah, that's look. I'm gonna say it like this. <laughs> if that nigga Robert Easter is a sellout, he accept the fight and he'll lose it. And we'll see the same shit that we saying this weekend. So, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and pause and let y'all have y'all business. And then let everybody else tell me. We'll see how this thing go in the, in the uh in the whole scheme of things. You know, I'm up early in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm sitting here just looking at the news, you know, watching the weather and seeing how it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But the truth comes out in the end. We gonna find out and then I'ma laugh. I'ma send a ha ha video. Within these next uh, three years, it's going to be something that's going to happen. Some bullshit is going to happen. Shit is... Look, this is what they got to understand. Y'all got to understand something about this nation and when it comes to industry. You know what I'm saying? Everything is manufactured because there's a reason why we don't have kings and queens. Well, we got presidents and CEOs and vice presidents. America is not a nation. It's a corporation. Get that shit in your head first. And then you can understand how everything operates. And it's snowing as hell out here, man. It's ridiculous. But um, remember that. America is not a nation, it's a corporation. For real. That's it. You only, no matter who you are in this goddamn field, you are someone who is a stock commodity. And once you realize that about yourself and you realize what's going on, you will understand things true. All right, man. I'm out.